Hello my lovelies. Today I'm going to be doing a shoe collection slash review video. It's going to be all sneakers, but they're like fashionable sneakers in one pair of like slides. So I hope that that's okay. I am so excited because the pair of shoes I was waiting on to make this video. I literally just picked them up from the post office and I am so excited. I can't tell you. I have all my shoes laid out right in front of me and we're just ready to go. I am so excited about this video. Oh my god, I love my shoes so much. Okay, this isn't to brag, it's just kind of like showing you the kind of shoes that I like and what I think about them because a lot of them are pretty popular and I'm sure you've seen a lot of them. So yeah, I just want to share my experience with them and if I recommend them and so on. We are going to go through these in the order that I got them. I'm unsure kind of in the middle, but I think I got it all right. It doesn't really matter, but anyways, let's just get into it. I'm so excited, oh my god. To start off, we'll start with a very basic sneaker, which are the Nike Air Force Ones. These were very, very popular a couple years ago and kind of still are. I'm sorry about any noises. I am outside, but it's just too beautiful for me to be inside, honestly. But I got these almost two years ago. Um, it'll be two years in May. I don't know why I remember that, but these are just an all-white leather sneaker and i think i've done a pretty good job at keeping them clean the bottoms are obviously dirty because i wear them all the way around these are a really good shoe i don't know if you can really see this but the leather does crease but i mean that's kind of to be expected you'll see some of my other leather shoes they crease as well so it's not really abnormal or anything i'm not really a fan of that it kind of bothers me but not that much like it's not that bad i really like this shoe it's just a basic white tennis shoe i will say that it is pretty platformed. I didn't know it would be that high until I got like different pairs of shoes since these were the first ones I really had. When I say first ones, I mean like first really nice pair of shoes that I bought myself. I didn't know how like platform they were really gonna be. I don't really wear these too often recently because I drive a lot more than I did when I got them. Obviously, I didn't have my license when I got them. Um, and it's kind of harder for me to drive with the platform but I don't think it's that big of a problem. Like, I don't know, if I was going to like drive far distances, I wouldn't wear these probably. They are very comfortable. I've noticed that they do squeak now too, that I've had them for a while, they squeak a little bit. It's nothing too bad, I don't know. And they're like my babies. I will always love them. Um, the laces are really white still. I have washed them a couple times, but um, other than that, I usually just lick my finger to clean them. I know that sounds gross, but that does the trick for me. I don't wear these when it's raining. I don't jump around in mud puddles or anything. People are always so surprised that they're so white, and I'm like, just don't, like, just don't walk in, like, the mud or something, and you'll be fine. Like, what do people do with their shoes? I don't understand. They're white, okay? Just don't wear them when it's raining and under circumstan circum certain circumstances. So after that, I got these black and white old school vans from my parents, and they're just the regular classic pair everybody's seen these everybody has these I really like these they took a while for me to break in kind of but um they're pretty comfortable I do wear them a lot but the only thing I don't like about these are that they're the only pair of shoes out of all of these that I can't just slip on and go I have to untie these every single time which I don't untie any of these other shoes but I did lace these up really cute I think so I like wearing them even though it's like I have to untie them and put them on and all that but I mean that's really not that big of a deal I mean they're shoes Sometimes you have to put in the extra effort. But I really like these. They're just a classic shoe, and I feel like they make every outfit look cooler. Even though they're so basic and everybody has them. I don't know. I just think they're so sharp and edgy. Oh, prices. I almost forgot. These I bought for about $75, but with shipping, it was probably about 80 80 85 around like $80. And then these old schools are about $65. And then we move on to the all white superstars from Adidas. These are a very popular shoe as well. Now that I'm looking at these, they look so dirty and I'm embarrassed. I remember like almost right after I got these, um, my sister and I were in Columbus and we were like walking around and it was icy and I, I was holding a hot chocolate of course and I slipped and fell right on my butt in front of all these runners and stuff and the hot chocolate spilled all over my shoes and I cried. I literally cried so hard but um, I just bleached the shoelaces and it's fine. Another all white shoe so I don't wear them when it's raining and things like that but um, these are a lot like lower obviously you can see compared to the Air Force like the platform you know and I think that these are some of the most comfortable shoes that I own honestly I don't know if it's just because they're so broken in but I really think that the ortho lights help a lot but yeah I think these are men's shoes actually 
yeah these are a men six these run for eighty dollars or 79.99 if you want to be technical i think they're worth it but that is like a high price i think and then we have my puma suede which i adore so much and i'm kind of afraid that they're on their last leg honestly i just have the black and white ones um i wear these so much that they're kind of like falling apart it feels like i don't know they might have a while left but i don't know it kind of feels like they're like really worn in and like thinning out kind of these are the most comfortable pair of shoes i own like honestly the padding on the ankle sorry zebo's moving around the padding around your ankle and heel is just like so awesome it's like you're walking on a cloud i love it so much these are like some of my favorite shoes they go with everything and i feel like they look so cute and they're subtle they're not as popular either i've noticed i haven't seen many people wearing them but i love these and they also come with white laces as well which i'm planning on putting on these pretty soon but i don't think i will because the white the little white logo here um is pretty dirty it's not really white anymore because it's suede it's much harder to clean so i don't know if i'll do that because i feel like the white shoelaces will look way too white compared to how not white that is anymore but yeah these are 65 dollars i'm pretty sure i'll have to double check but i'm pretty sure that these are 65 dollars so after i got those i decided to get another pair and i got the all black pair unfortunately these do not have the same padding around the the heel or ankle at all for some reason and that really bothers me it's like leather which is pretty uncomfortable actually and that really bothers me these shoes are still really cute and i didn't have an all black shoe so i decided to pick these up and i wear them quite a bit not as much as the others but i still wear these quite a bit they're really cute and edgy i think i don't know i like how like just everything about the shoe is black and these were 65 dollars as well then i picked up my red Dan Smiths from Adidas. These were kind of like an impulse thing. My mom and I were in the Adidas store and they were having a sale. These were, I think, 60 or $65 when usually they're 75 about. I actually wear these a lot more than I thought I would. They're not the most comfortable. They have like the leather kind of thing around the heel, just like the black Puma suede. Um, but I do really like them. They're so unique. Nobody has these, you know, like everybody has Stan Smiths, but nobody really has like an all red pair, you know. So I really like how unique these are. Um, I actually do wear them a lot. Whether they match my outfit or not, I just throw them on whenever I feel like it, basically. I don't know. I just really like the all red look it just makes me so happy i'm pretty sure i got these after the red stan smith but i'm not sure these are puma matches which i never even heard of but i found them at dsw they're in white and like a royal blue i don't know but i really like the color combination on this shoe um the leather does crease a lot <laughs> they kind of look like granny shoes a little bit i do need to clean these because they're disgusting out of all the shoes i'm going to be showing you today i probably wear these the least honestly but um that's okay i mean you can't wear them all the same i guess right these were i really forget i think they were 55 dollars and they were on sale i'm really not sure no piper please don't thank you i'm really not sure 55 to 45 dollars i think they really weren't that expensive that's another big reason why i picked them up but they're cute and i like having them as an option to just throw on with anything i feel like i'm talking really fast but this literally just makes me so happy you guys don't understand okay so then i have these nikes and i do not know what they are called i'm sorry i I'm a bad shoe person, but I just found these when Megan and I were in DC. I found them at a TJ Maxx, and I'm pretty sure these were $30, which is incredible. I've never seen this really, the style, and the style is like really what I like. Like this kind of just basic white sneaker with like a color accent is like really cute to me, and it has this nice lilac Nike swoosh, and then it has lilac on the back, and it says Nike. I don't know, I've never seen this style of Nike shoe before, and I think that's what really drew it to me, and it just seems so like retro, like 80s kind of. I knew I wasn't going to wear them that much, but I like, they're like $30, not bad. Then, for Christmas this year, I got, these are the only not in sneakers, by the way, which is obvious now. Hi! Hey Piper, she's usually not a lovey cat. Everybody's seen these two. These are just the Vans um, slip-ons and they're the black and white checkers. I love them so much. I wore them today. Um, they remind me of like being a rock star. Like, 
that's the life I want to live. I really like these, they're very cute. I highly recommend like if you want a white shoe but you don't wanna get it all dirty and stuff cause the black makes it less white, you know, I don't know. I'm pretty sure these slip-ons cost about $50. I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure they're 50 to $55, which is not bad. Okay, and then a couple weeks ago, the week before last week, I think, I don't know, really, but it was pretty recent, I bought these beautiful shoes, and I kind of gave my Snapchat followers a little sneak peek of the box. But yeah, I bought these Adidas Superstars, and they have the light pink stripes and like gold accents on the tongue. They're very, very cute. I bought a tracksuit from the thrift store that I thought would go perfectly with this, but it's a much lighter pink, but um, I still might wear it anyways. Is that bad? I don't know. But I also kind of feel like just wearing these with whatever I want anyways, like it doesn't have to match really. These are originally $80, just like every other pair of superstars, but I got them for about $50 with my like employee discount and stuff. That's really awesome. Yay. Ah, I'm so excited. Now we are to the 11th and final pair of shoes, and you guys have no idea how excited I am about these. 11 is one of my favorite numbers of all time, first of all. Second of all, these shoes mean so much to me, it's not even funny. These are the Diodora Borg Elites in white and gold. And let me tell you what, I don't know if you guys have heard, but I have a Snapchat. <laughs> And once upon a time, I posted this picture of George Michael. I don't know if you know who that is, but uh, he's a pretty important person in my life. And I posted this here picture of him on my Snapchat story, and I circled those shoes he's wearing. And I said, my next purchase. They weren't my next purchase because the superstars came first, but you know what, it's fine. Now I own those shoes, and I cannot tell you how proud I am. Are you guys ready to see these? Because I don't think you are. Perfect. Look at this. They're absolutely perfect. I literally can't deal with it. I'm so, oh my God. George Michael, people, George Michael. He wore these shoes. Do you understand that? He, he had these shoes on his feet in this picture right here. In this picture, he had them on his feet. Him and Andrew would like twin and they'd both wear these shoes. And now I have them. I literally can't tell you how thankful I am Oh my god. These shoes were not easy to come by though. Oh my god. I spent months looking for these, okay? Once I finally found out what they were called, I couldn't find them anywhere in United States sizes, let alone women's sizes, because they are men's shoes, believe it or not. But I found them on eBay. I did have to buy them and pay for the shipping from the UK, but I bought them in a UK men's six, which translates to a US women's eight approximately, which is about half a size too big, but I tried them on and they fit just fine. I am so hyped. I was really worried that they would be kind of platformed like the Air Forces, but they're not. And I'm so excited about it. These are named after the tennis star. I don't know his first name, which is kind of embarrassing now that I think about it, but just like the Adidas has the Stan Smith, which was a tennis player. Um, Diodora kind of teamed up with the tennis player and made the Borg Elites and they come in gold and silver and I got the gold, obviously, because that's the pair that George Michael had. Literally, he is the sole reason I ever knew about these shoes. He's the sole reason I ever bought these shoes. I mean, I personally am a fan of the style anyways. Like, they're right up my alley. I was so scared that these were just gonna disappear off the face of the earth because they're so vintage and rare. It took me so long to find them, and I found them, and I'm literally so hyped about it. They come with, like, a gold um, shoelaces. Some of the pictures I saw, the gold was much more, like, gold like in your face shiny gold and this is more like a, a bronze but i looked at george michael's shoes and it was more of a bronzy kind of so we're good i literally am just so hyped like i can't even i can't even handle this i am so excited now let's talk about the price of these shoes because i am not proud of <laughs> of how much money I spent on these, honestly. If you like, you can take a guess in the comments right now. And now I'm going to tell you. So if you haven't guessed, get ready to find out. I paid, not that outrageous I guess, but I paid about $95 in total for those shoes, making them the most expensive. I found them on a really good sale on eBay. Just the shipping, just racked it on up, you know? And the UK pound to US dollar is like, 
yeah I'm just so happy I got those it literally makes me so happy I feel so much closer to George Michael already I can't even take it that is all for the shoe sneaker collection slash review thing that I just did I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video because I enjoyed making it. This was like so much fun for me. I literally could just talk about shoes all day, every day. I'm just so happy. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the lovely comments on all my videos and all the likes and all the subscribers. And just thank you so much. I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your week and life, just in general. Just have a wonderful day and life and existence and just be happy. And I hope that this video wasn't just a waste of time and it made you happy a little bit and you got to learn a little bit about shoes. So I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.